Let's be honest. Blood Red Sky is pretty sick! We open up the film with an airport swarming with military personnel as a plane takes what looks like an emergency landing. A dangerous young boy comes out of the plane armed with a lethal teddy bear. Oh wait, no, he's completely harmless. The police just want to question him about what went on in the plane that just landed. The boy sits in silence as the movie begins a flashback to show us what happened. The boy, Elias, makes friends with a stranger named Farid. We feel he's either going to be a relevant hero or at least a gruesome victim, so we wanted to mention him now while he's still alive. Elias and his mother are traveling to America to see a doctor that says he can help Elias's mom overcome her illness. We aren't told what the illness is yet, but it's taking a toll on Elias's mom. Some craziness is going down as the flight attendants induct a random passenger into the Mile High Club. Oh no, that's not the Mile High Club at all. It's like the Mile High Mafia. After the flight attendant murders a couple passengers, we find out that he really is part of some criminal airplane gang. They take over the flight and demand that everyone keep their heads down. While they go after Farid, Elias decides to play little hero and attempts to save him. When Elias's mother goes to grab her son, the attendant in disguise shoots her. She is made a lesson of for trying to be a hero. She wasn't trying to be a hero though. She even told the guy she just wanted to get her son. Well, then I guess her son has to live with the knowledge that he's the reason his mother was killed. Jeez! Ah, I know. Intense. As his mother lay there dying, she jumps back into another flashback during this flashback. It's another one of those Inception movies. The flashback of the flashback is just her sitting in a freezing car with her son as an infant. And then she walks out into the snowy night just to stumble upon some monster eating something. Oh, is this the backstory of the vampires? Shh, we aren't to that part yet. Oh yeah, my bad. We jump back to present time flashback, if that makes sense, where the Mile High Mafia is running amok trying to frame the attack on the passengers. Elias's mom ends up being saved from dying by the vampiric disease that transforms her body. Now we're at the vampire part. While in the cargo hold, she chooses a brave chihuahua to be the necessary sacrifice. You'll go to a better place, little buddy. She consumes the doggo and fully heals, taking out one of the hijackers. Elias and his mother reunite as we discover that the pilots are now dead. When Elias' mother gets the help of a passenger to fly the plane, they take the power back and lock themselves in the cockpit. The hijackers flip their lid when they realize the plane might be turning around and decide to see what's going on. When they find out that a passenger is in the cockpit flying the plane, they start killing passengers to coerce Elias' mom to open the door. This ultimately works, but only after she she goes completely berserk and turns into our vampire hero of the day. This is sick! Elias doesn't seem to think so. He'll come around. We get another flashback to when Elias' mother was first starting to change. So the vampire bite inflicted a transforming illness on her and it took years before she became fully a monster? Yeah, dude. No one becomes a politician overnight. One of the hijackers almost kills Elias' mother and steals some of her vampiric blood. But then Elias himself comes to save the day. Oh shit, he's strapped! The hijacker causes Elias to shoot out one of the plane's windows, causing a sudden pressure drop. The hijacker flees to the cargo hold and hides in a car. What kind of car is able to block bullets at point blank range? A bulletproof one? Oh, well, yeah. The crazed hijacker injects the blood he stole from Elias's mom into his own neck and begins to transform. Not if she has anything to say about it. The hijacker she tries to light up ends up surviving and turns into a fully fledged vampire. He starts to turn his crew and some passengers into vampires as well, as all hell breaks loose on the plane. Elias's mom is able to save Farid after he gets bit in the hand by chopping it off. Ouch! At least it was the left one. But I'm left-handed. Elias's mother successfully traps the vampire hijacker in a locked room while they attempt to safely land the plane. A dying passenger sets him free to ask him to bite him and turn him as well. Wow, thanks a lot, dude. The whole plane has been turned into mindless, bloodthirsty vampires as a result of the rich man's greed. Elias takes it upon himself to venture through the plane but gets cornered. Thankfully, Elias's mom comes to his rescue and they both defeat the evil vampire hijacker. Elias gives his mother some of his blood to power her up, but she pushes him away, not wanting him near her as the disease fully takes over her. We're now caught up into the present time. The military doesn't believe Elias's or Farid's stories about what happened. The military decides to raid the plane to see what they can find out. It doesn't go very well, and we may now be witnessing the start of a global fallout of vampire zombies. It's always some stubborn leader that doesn't believe anyone that gets us into these catastrophic world-ending predicaments. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, I forgot Elias has the detonator. True. 